Jumbo. This is editing Reese. Durr. This is being filmed right now on September 3rd at 8.36. I'm still editing this video for it to go up tomorrow. But come to find out, the tea is piping motherfucking hot. So apparently Ice brought Cleo Trappa on tour. Why didn't I see her? I don't fucking know. I went to one of the concerts. And now that all this drama and tea is coming out, it kind of solidifies the person who I thought Ice was on tour. Y'all will see later in the video, but especially at the intro, I purposefully put that to show y'all that when Ice goes, where are all my ass shakers at? And purposefully only picks white girls from the crowd with an exception of one black girl. Mind you, her backup dancers told me, they pointed me out to come on stage and Ice is in there going like this, pretending like she didn't see me. Were you scared that me as a black woman was going to outshine you? And not even that. In terms of like when it comes to twerking, like girl, we could have our little moment on stage together. But you chose to do it with a whole bunch of white girls who couldn't even throw it in a circle. I can't throw it in a circle, but I can't shake my ass a little bit, okay? I want y'all, if you really need to, go back and watch the intro. It's a disgrace. And now come to find out everything that is being said. I might even include a little bit when it comes to the video, maybe at the end of all the drama going on, but it just solidifies what the fuck I thought. Ice, you're not a girl's girl. You, especially when it came to the Central C, Mads, drama, all that other stuff, you're showing your colors even more. Um, Can we also just say, bitch, you're on Ozempic. Sorry, hate to say it, but that workout video that she posted, <laughs> as someone who goes to the gym five days a week, you can tell when people pick up a weight for the first time. You can tell when like people don't have the form of working out, if that makes sense. Not even trying to say, oh, I'm whatever, da da da, da. But it's just like, I see you're not a girl's girl. Y'all know me. If you go on my page, I am a concert connoisseur. If I listen to the person and they're coming to my city, I'm gonna go. So that's where I was like, girl, girl, you also need to humble your fucking self. Ice, please humble yourself because you were the same person who was supposed to perform at the Armory, one of the biggest like standing room concert places or whatever in Minnesota and they downgraded you to the Fillmore. Let's be real. I'm also mad that Cleo Trappa wasn't there because does it really look like I wanted to fucking watch Riot play fucking DJ music that he would just had two niggas just standing there not doing anything? No, I would have rather seen a black woman actually being able to get her name out there rather than whatever the fuck that shit was. If you didn't know, I probably will be including just a little bit of the drama at the end of the video for those who stick around. Just because like the concert, the concert that I went to changed my mindset when it came to ICE in general. And so many times I have said that whenever I go to a concert, when I've gone to the Rico concert, Flo Millie, Bryson Tiller, I'm like, I wanna be an interpreter for these motherfuckers. Like to interpret their type of music, like that would be so much fun, especially since I grew up listening to their music. ICE was a part of my 2023 um, Spotify listener, whatever in the top five. And yet I don't wanna be an interpreter for her. The energy that she gave on stage stage was giving I don't give a fuck also for you to play ads at a concert is crazy <laughs> I've been to so many concerts and I've never ever seen an artist play ads. You're a sellout. I'm just, the energy is not giving what it needs to give and it's not a girl's girl. And this concert turned me off to Ice Spice to the point where I had to unfollow her, especially coming to find out all this stuff leading up with Cleo Trappa. So take this video with a grain of salt. You could see my excitement in the video and then it starts to dwindle down towards the end of the video because I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Anyways, enjoy the video y'all. Jumbo everyone, welcome or welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking y'all with me to the Ice Spice concert. If you didn't know, I'm basically like a little, I'm kind of like a concert connoisseur. If I listen to the person and they come to Minnesota, 
Oh my god. I listen to Ice Spice, but I haven't listened to her as much just because, girl, why do we keep talking about shit and poopy and diapers? It's just a lot. I like her old music, but a lot of this new music is giving she's gone to Dubai a little bit too much. Anyways, if you know, you know. <laughs> but like I said, um, I was being a rookie and decided, oh, I'm gonna wait to buy my ticket last minute because it's the Armory. The Armory rarely ever sells out. So that's why I'm like, oh, I'm not like panicking that much. And also tickets were $67 after taxes, right? At the Armory. Then all of a sudden I go to buy my ticket last night, come to find out it's moved to the fucking Fillmore. So that's where I'm like, well, what the fuck? I tried to go buy tickets last night. Nope, Fillmore isn't selling any. What do you mean it's sold out? Don't lie. So then I started panicking buying and looking around and I just ended up buying tickets for $88 because right now on Live Nation they're selling the tickets for $67 but then there's fucking like $50 in fees basically I'm not fucking doing that I just found this one like cheap ticket thing or whatever and got it I don't really care um yeah I just came back from the gym which is why I have my bonnet on because I got a retwist I'm not sweating that shit out so it will be protected but yeah so now I'm gonna take a shower and then eat and then after that it's literally only 2 30 so I'm really not in any type of rush i'm gonna try to edit as much content on my content phone which is just like an old iphone 10 try to edit as much content on there because then i need to clear my camera roll because y'all already know from the flow millie vlog we aren't allowed to bring this type of camera in i'm gonna bring it all the way up until the venue so then my friend miles my concert buddy if y'all know so he can take some pictures of me on my like actual camera but then like once we go into the building yeah we're also gonna try to get barricade just because miles and i are always like that there's like early VIP entry and all that other shit, but that shit was like $300. Ice Spice, I don't listen to you like that. That I'd pay that money for Flo Millie and Mona Leo, but for Ice not right now. Just wait till I'm an interpreter. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm going to take my shower, eat my food, and then I'll probably just like show y'all or come back to y'all like when I have my outfit and then when I'm doing my makeup for the concert. Just so it's like a get ready with me, Ice Spice concert, whatever. Anyways, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okie dokie, oh, anytime I sit down here and just look at my background, it looks so cool. Anyways, so now I'm gonna start preparing for the concert, and which is doing my makeup. So of course I'm gonna try fake lashes cause I look good with lashes and I'm gonna be at a concert. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, this is gonna be very simple makeup, nothing too crazy. Um, right now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Okay, curling my lashes. Lashes. And sometimes I hate curling my lashes or even just doing my mascara in general because my lashes be falling out like a motherfucker. I'm just like, damn, can I live? No. Oh. So, oh fuck, I still gotta get gas. No, we're just gonna get gas tomorrow. We can do it. Cause I'm like, damn, what's tomorrow? Thursday? Okay, yeah, we can get gas tomorrow. Right now I am using the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. This shit runs out so quickly and it's so annoying, but it does make my lashes look good. I'm not gonna go like too, too crazy when it comes to mascara. I'm probably literally just gonna do like one coat and try to keep it clean. Cause usually when I do my mascara, I like, I'll do it sloppily and then just do clean up around. But like, you know, since I'm putting on lashes I kind of want to not have to do that so just kind of like something to like lift my lashes make it blend into the fake eyelash but nothing too crazy the time is currently, it's 4.15. Doors are at 6.30. Miles said he's gonna be there around um, five just because like him and I wanna um, get barricade and be able to do all that fun stuff. Okay, that's literally all I'm doing for mascara. Like you can't even see it, but hold on. So then, that's how I know I don't do makeup. Kiss, strip adhesive, lash or whatever. But first I'm gonna take these off and just cut it just a little bit just because of, I have like short eyes that are like football shaped. So they're pretty small and I can like, I usually have to cut off just a little bit. I'm gonna do like one lash on camera and then the rest off. I'm gonna start with my right eye because that's a little easier to gauge how much I really gotta cut off. I'm just gonna cut like the tiniest bit from the front and I always tell people I'm like start do like the front of the lash instead of the back of the lash because like towards your inner corner the lash is always gonna be shorter so it's just like you know I'm gonna do the same to the other one just cut like the tiniest bit off. Yeah, like I said, they changed the venue for her concert. It was supposed to be at the Armory, which is fucking huge. I was actually surprised that, like, granted, yes, she's popular, but, like, this is your first tour. I was surprised that she was able to get the Armory first because I'm just, like, a kind of a concert connoisseur. Like, like I said earlier, if I listen to the person, like, I'm gonna go to their concert. And she was in my, like, top three for Spotify last year. I was listening to a lot. I also just don't listen to music like that. Like, I'm, if I like a song, I'm just gonna keep listening to that one song over 
over and over again. But, um, no, she was in my top three. No, top. She was, like, four, I think, right after Cali. So, yeah, I'm like, I might as well go to a concert. Like, I love concerts. Okay, this is the one thing I hate about putting eyelash glue on. Like, my actual, like, lid, like, it's fucking eyeliner is that the glue gets all over my lashes. Okay, hopefully that makes it stay because I'm so... I, I, I'm just, like, getting better at applying lashes, basically. And my outfit's so cute. I already tried it on, and I forgot I even got, like, a matching set from Shein. And I tried it on, and I was like... See, the thing with lashes is that they always just make my lazy eye come out just a little bit. Just like trying to squeeze it so it's like even with my lash line. I'm gonna do, oh my God, I look so weird. I don't like this. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back once I have that and then we'll finish off my makeup together. Okay, that actually didn't take as long as I thought. Sometimes I be feeling like I got a lazy eye. I do, but with lashes it emphasizes it times fucking a million. Anyways, I don't even care at this point. Hey, hey. You're going a little too in the inner corner. Back it up. <laughs> okay, I just never wear lashes, so whenever I do, I'm like, who are you? Are you, are you coming to the tree? Don't ask. <laughs> Then I use my Wet n Wild, if you couldn't tell, oh. Then I use my Wet n Wild, if you couldn't tell, this has been through it. Um, Specifically the shade Mellow Wine. She's starting to, to get there, but we're gonna keep using her. And then I just have this fucking elf, I feel like a real beauty guru anytime I have to do this with my hand. I'm using this elf brush. Oh my god, this camera quality is so good. Like, I just I just love this camera. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so then I just dub, 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 dub. And then just watch the color come into my face. Come on now. Blush. No blush. And I like bring that shit to my ears or to my hairline. Let's rub it in my hairline. Then I just dab, 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 dab. Do the other side. Like I said, um, w that one Mona Leo song. Um, I put blush on my nose. He think that is so cute. Cause when I do put it on my nose, ah! I put blush on my nose. He think that is so cute. Hood nigga sending memes. He's like, that is so you. So now, as you can see, the blush brings color into my fucking face. Nose. Cause always like, the reason why I do blush so heavy is because it's always the first to go. Then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Remember when this was all the hype? Um, my favorite shade is Butterscotch. As you can tell, I use her like a motherfucker. I can't be in the shot at all. Okay, as you can tell, I use Butterscotch a lot by the indent. <laughs> and I'm very lazy when it comes to highlighter cause I don't really care. I kind of just do one on my cheekbone. I'm not done, so bear with me. And I do a lot, so I go like this, and then I go like this. And y'all, I, okay, that was a little high. The only times I do my makeup is when I'm going to work. I'll probably do my, like a little bit of makeup when I start school, just to like, you know, be awake in a sense, but. Oh, I need some chastity. Gonna be using this aqua for. Oh my god, look at that highlighter on the nose. Jeez. Oh, and this is like almost done, so I literally have to like squeeze. Now that I know the highlighter on my nose is fucking blinding, that just makes me feel so much better. Um, then I also just do a little bit on my eyebrows, eyebrows. And then, last but not least, oh, you y'all thought I was gonna say like this? No, I blend it with my finger. Just to like give it a lot more soft look. Go up. And that is the makeup look. Oh my God. Just wait until I really know. Ow, ow, ow. What the fuck was that? That was a cramp. Um, let's take a hit of the cart because I think that's what it's telling me to do. Okay, it's 4.30. So now I guess I could just take my hair out because ready? If you haven't watched my retwist video, go watch that shit because I look good. I never do two strand twists, so this was definitely branching out into something new. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You look good, bitch. You look good, babe. You look good. Yeah, no, you look good, babe. You look good. Yeah, no. She's giving, she is serving, she is eating. You're a cute bitch. Where's my glasses? Because we got to test it out with the glasses, of course. Like, dirt. you're a blind bitch. Forehead just a little big, but that's okay. <laughs> Now I'm gonna put my outfit on and then see y'all in a little bit. Okie dokie, fit has been put on. I know you see the fit. Of course, got this set from Shein because I am a bro college student. I don't wanna hear nothing about it, especially when Fenty has damn near the same, what's it called, carbon footprint. It may be even worse as Shein. I don't wanna fucking hear it. Anyways, let me put my glasses on because I can't even see myself. So this is the fit, just this fit I got off Shein. Very cute, body is T. Like I always say, body is tea, body is tea, 
I'm ready to like shake my ass too, be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm also wearing these black slippers. So I was gonna wear my white sandals, put that shit on. I'm not gonna last in a concert wearing sandals like that. I'm being practical, thank you. As long as y'all can see the tat and the ass looks fat, that's all that matters. Tat and the ass looks fat. Tat and the ass looks fat. Tat, tat, tat. Tat and the ass looks fat. I'm gonna do like the finishing touches on stuff, get my fanny pack, pack that shit, make sure I have everything. Look at real muscular, real muscular. And then I'll see y'all in the car. Okie dokie, I'm in the car now, so I'm gonna start making my way to the Fillmore. Tell me why I said damn near 30 minutes of traffic. Y'all don't do back roads like I do because I'm not doing that shit. I will be taking the back way with no lights by the river. Thank you, all right. Q montage. Beans, like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna run. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bobs. Oh, she mad. Yes, I'm vlogging and driving, don't come at me, but damn! The motherfucking traffic, bro. Like, and and just overall, niggas not knowing how to drive. Like, can you speed up, please? Or put your fucking blinker on? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Put your fucking blinker on. That's like the least I ask you to fucking do. Anyways, so we're down the street from the venue, and now it is time to find parking. I hate this part. I hate trying to find parking. Oh, I could have parked right there. Oh, I can park over here. Okay, if anything, I can just come back around the block. No, I'm not walking that fucking far. What do I look like? Bitch, I'll park down there. I'll park in the motherfucking residential. Like, I don't know why people pay for parking. I'm like, y'all are better. Damn, there ain't nobody here. I'm dead as hell. My y'alls, where you at, bitch? Um, kind of just feels like Flo Millie part two, in a sense. But I'm gonna find parking, and then I'll see you in a little bit. I have made it. We are now at the Ice Spice concert. Miles is coming to walk to my car to take some pictures. I'm thinking like right there. I feel like that would be like a cute little spot to like take pictures. I of course found street parking. This is why I feel like I'm a concert connoisseur because I usually rarely ever pay for parking garage parking because that shit takes forever to get out of and I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, he's walking. We're gonna take some cute pics. I'm just really excited overall just because he said that they're like, there's like 20 people in front of him and then even like with VIP going in front of us, I still feel, we're gonna get barricade. We get barricade every single time. So me and Miles, we're we're gonna do this shit, but I'm excited. This is his last concert in Minnesota. Um, if you didn't know, we met at the Flo Millie concert 2022, went to the Rico concert 2023, went to Flo's concert again here at the Fillmore 2023, then we went to the Gunna Flo Millie concert, and now we're here at the Ice Spice concert, and this is gonna be our last concert for a little bit, which I'm sad about, but it's okay, he's going to college, I know. Who would've thought that man was not in college already? He is a child. <laughs> Now I gotta train him to take my pictures real quick because I'm trying to have some pics to eat. I already know what my caption is gonna be. It's gonna be, no rock, no scissors. Just get in that paper, hey, cause I oh know I'm a big baller. And of course, you know, this is where I parked last time. Basically, I parked over there on that side and now I'm over here in my Honda. So I'm just gonna wait for Miles to get here, introduce him, have his little cameo in the vlog. Cause like I said, I'm not gonna be able to bring this camera in. So we're gonna be switching over to the iPhone. Oh shit, it's dirty. Let me use your shirt. <laughs> Miles in the cut, yeah. Show the fit shirt. Ice Spice shirt. Yup. This is like this uh, eats. I kind of really like shorts, that shirt. Yup. Beaters. Yup. I gotta introduce people if they're new. Oh my! Look at that. <laughs> every, every time. time. <laughs> every time we we're like, damn, look at the height difference. How tall are you again? Six, six foot eight. You grew another inch? No, I've been six I thought you were six, six seven last time. No, I've been six eight. Child, anyway, so we're here getting ready for the Ice Spice concert. Um, our last concert together for a little bit. Yeah. Because you decided to go to Chicago. Did you yeah. purposely go to Chicago just so you could go to all the concerts no, out there? No, but it was a perk. <laughs> Thinking, I don't know, maybe like somewhere over here to like sure. take some pictures real quick just because um, I gotta have a cute you know like cover pick as the first picture on my instagram so we're gonna do that and you said the line isn't too bad right not horrible no we're gonna get barricade like we always do so let me i gotta train him how to take my pics real quick and then you know i'll see you in a little bit on the iphone <laughs> i can't stand you 
and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Being felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, Daddy, stay actually just chowed down on some fucking canes because I hadn't eaten since 3 p.m. and I felt like I was gonna throw up. Two shirts, this is the merch that I got outside. I love when people sell a merch for $10. <laughs> So this is the first one, which I actually like more than the one that I bought, but it's like pink and then it has her on the back with like all the tour dates. And then I also got this black one. Hold on, let me see if I can just set this up. Okay, so these are the shirts that I got. And then it 
also has this on the back, which I'm pretty sure has all the tour dates. Yeah. I was like, what's today's date? But yeah, this one's cute. And then I like this one because of how it looks on the front. And I always get all my shirts in a large just because it's like, I want to wear it over a hoodie. But like, this is the second one. This one's so cute. I like this one. But yeah, so I'm now here with Lewis. Yeah. Um. Also, I said I got something to fucking say. When you said where are my ass shakers are or where my ass shakers at, and then you proceed to literally bring up majority white women, that's when I looked at you differently. Cause what are we doing? Even your fucking, hey, even your your backup dancers pointed at me and told me to come on. I'm just a little frustrated cause I actually hurt my feelings. And I'll put the clip, like there are so many white girls up there not even shaking their ass properly. Like what are we doing? I actually got disgusted. Anyways, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. It's 10 o'clock and I'm still editing this video. I'm literally going to just put in a clip summarizing the whole Cleo Trappa Ice Spice drama in right here in 2X because I don't have the attention span to watch it in 1X like you bitches. So just gonna put a quick summary and then end the vlog because a bitch wants to go smoke and eat some dinner. Everyone is yapping so fucking much and not getting to the fucking point. So I am going to try to, I watched the whole six part series. I'm going to try my best, try my best keyword to summarize the drama going on. Basically, Ice Spice invited Cleo Trappa onto her Y2K tour the day before it actually started. She's telling Cleo Trappa, I'm gonna just call her Cleo. Cleo! <laughs> She's telling Cleo, I got you. Don't worry about nothing. I got you. I want you to like be able to, you know, be out there, right? They start the tour, all this other stuff. It, where it really starts, where everything really starts is when ISIS security guard doesn't want to carry Cleo's bags. Cleo's like, okay, like, do I need to pay him? Like, what What do I need to do in order to have my bags be carried? ISIS is like, well, he gets paid a flat rate. Bitch, do you not know what a flat rate means? A flat rate means that he gets paid regardless of what the task is supposed to be done because he's getting paid regardless. So then Cleo was like okay like I'll pay him still was an issue then they said that um Ice was trying to go get ready all this other stuff and Cleo was like okay well we'll get ready at the same time because I'm not trying to have us delay if we're in a rush they start getting ready Cleo brings up the bag situation boom that's where everything starts basically the tour continues to lead on all this other stuff there's like many altercations that are like going on here and there but Ice is like just being petty based off of Cleo making a comment about the bags there's more stuff that keeps going on Ice kind of like isolating Cleo Cleo making friends with the makeup artist Ice going and literally leaving Cleo to starve basically saying that she wasn't allowed to bring anyone if she did bring someone that she would have to pay for their way basically not taking care of her not holding up her end of the deal we already knew Ice and Riot were dating we knew that and then Ice to summarize it all up Cleo sends a text at the end of the tour and I understand it fully because she was basically saying that if I were to complain on the tour people would think I'm ungrateful not be able to take advantage of this opportunity just all these things and I feel like people don't understand that the darker you are the harder it is sometimes I could say that I definitely benefit from colorism because I'm lighter but you can still tell that I'm black even in Isis song with her being like light skin but I'm black because you can tell by my hair whatever you know how like passing you are you know how light skin you are to the point where you get advantages within the black community let's be honest so and especially with the whole baby stormy stuff coming out exposing ice exposing her ass she needed to do damage control that's what Cleo Trappa was at the end of the day I agree with Cleo Trappa I do believe that Ice has sold her soul, aka sold her morals just for some money, just for a bag. Now it's caught up to her. There's more. It's everywhere on TikTok. I'm sure you've heard of it. They can explain it better, but that's basically my version. I just want to end this video. So, yes. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.